Welcome to this first Java short tutorial. In the short tutorial series I will be explaining a single simple Java concept in each video. So ideally these videos will take no longer than a few minutes. So in this first video I am going to explain the basic structure of a Java program and printing something to the console. That's all. So without further ado, let's just get started. As you can see for these videos, I'll be using uh, Java, uh, Eclipse Luna, which is the most recent version of Eclipse. Okay, so here we are in Eclipse. So let's first create a new Java project. So how do we do that? We click File, New, Java Project. Then let's just call it Project 01 Examples. I'm using JDK 7 in this case. So let's just choose next and finish. So as you can see, I've created a Java project, uh, which I can open. There's an empty source folder there. So to create our first Java source file, I'm going to right click on it, choose new, and then choose Java class. So in this case, I'm just going to call it example 1. I'm not going to generate any code this time, so I'm just going to press finish. So, looking at what appears here on the screen, uh, you can see the basic Java programming outline. So, yeah, basically um, Java programs are written in class format. So, typically you start every class, no matter whether or not you're creating a single class program or multiple class program, with the words public class followed by the name of the class which must be the same as the class file name the dot java file name you can see here so in this case example 01 and then use aqualad to open and aqualad to close so in between these two aqualads we will write our actual java program and each java program needs a starting point so in this particular case as a starting point in the Java programming language, we create a main method. So that would be public static void main and provide the default parameters. So that would be string array args. Correction, not ARGS, ARGS args. And again, a accolad open and a accolad close. In between these accolades in our main method, we can actually start writing our actual program. Or at least we can put some code in the main method. In later tutorials, I will explain how you can use multiple methods. So what in this case would we like to do? Well, I would like to do a very simple system.out. System.out is used to print data on the screen. So how to print something, you use system.out.println. And then in between these two brackets, you indicate the message you would like to print between double quotes. Text or string messages are always written between double quotes. So what would I like to write? Well, I could do the hello world example, but that's uh, kind of a cliche at this point. So I'm just going to say uh, hello video viewers there we go and save so now as to run this program well what we can do is a few ways we can right click on the source file which is my favorite and choose run as then run an as java application or we can press the run button here or we can do run as java application on the whole project um, since I'll be adding more programs to this project, I will go with the first approach. So I right click on the source file, run as Java application. And then as you can see in the console below, uh, the message hello view video viewers appears. And that's a basic Java program. See you next time. Mm -hmm.